Hello everybody, this is Tech Hut. In this video, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be giving you an overview and a first impressions video of the Lenovo IdeaPad Yoga 11-inch model. So what this is, it is a laptop that you can flip the screen around and turn it into a tablet, and it works great for what it's intended to be used for. I just picked it up for myself, and I plan on using it as my daily driver to do everything I need to do, record videos, and just about everything. That is because it is an ultrabook and has very, very good specs. But first, the build quality. It is built very well. The materials that they use, I just love how they feel. It feels strong in your hands and in no way it feels like it's a cheap product. The display is very very nice. It is a 1300 display which I would have liked a 1080 display but you can get that with the model up. If you pay a little bit more you get a bigger display. But for the most part this display is perfect. It's a great size. It's the same resolution as my previous device and it has slightly smaller screen than my previous device and the actual picture quality is very perfect. You don't notice a pixel on it if you're at a average viewing distance from it. The contrast is perfect and the coloration on it is outstanding to me. Other than the display on the right side of the tablet we have the power port where you can plug in your charging cable and you also have a USB 2.0 port as well as a speaker and what I think is a reset button I am not 100% sure on that. On the front of the tablet, you don't really have much. You have a power button, a notification light, and what I think is a reset button. On the left side of the tablet, you have a audio jack, a USB 3.0 port, which is very nice, an HDMI cable for setting up external displays, and it's not a mini HDMI, it is a full HDMI and you also have the volume buttons and a speaker. Now this product is very lightweight, it's around three pounds, which is about on par with other Ultrabooks, but compared to the average tablet, it is very lightweight. And the only real complaint is when it is in a tablet mode, it feels really heavy, especially compared to other tablets like the iPad or any smaller Android tablets, but it is a fully functional computer, so you have to give it credit for that. And what's really nice is when it is in tablet mode, it has the Windows button on the screen, which makes it really easy to switch back and forth between the previous task you're running and the tile interface. When it comes to the battery, I got about, I would say, four to five hours of battery life on advanced to minor usage. So I was browsing YouTube videos and I opened up Premiere and I downloaded and installed a few things. So I'd say it gets about a good five to six hours battery life on average user usage. But when you start opening up Premiere and things like that, it will drain your battery. Now when it comes to the actual specifications and performance of this laptop, it is very great, especially with the SSD hard drive in it. But it has a Intel Core i5 CPU at 1.5 gigahertz, which is pretty average in most Ultrabooks. It also has four gigs of RAM, and there is also a eight gig model, which you could get, but I got the four gig one because that is all I need has the 64-bit full Windows 8 operating system and built-in Intel graphics. And for being built into the graphics on a little tiny laptop that this is, the graphics actually perform quite well. I actually was able to play some light gaming. I played Orcs Must Die 2 with no problem at all on the full settings. There's absolutely no lag that I noticed and gameplay was completely smooth. I also loaded in Minecraft, played it in full screen a little bit, and I got around 20 to 30 frames per second on the far rendered distance with no OptiFine installed. I made it a little smaller, put it to normal, and I got around 30 frames per sec. So the graphics actually doesn't perform quite bad. You can actually probably play some higher end games if you turn the settings down. So this concludes my overview and first impressions of this laptop. If you're looking for something or if you don't really need the whole convert to a tablet functionality, you can get a slightly better laptop for the price, but I really wanted the whole convert to tablet thing and I absolutely love it. The screen is very responsive. I love the Windows 8 interface on a tablet, on a desktop, or a non-touch screen laptop. That is a completely different story. So, my first impression, I absolutely love it. There will be a review coming in about a month or so after I get to use it and tinker with it. I will be putting out a full review going over everything I possibly can with this laptop. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see my last hardware video, it is a Blue Snowball microphone video, which is right above. I'm actually using the Blue Snowball to record the audio in this video. If you want to see my last Minecraft video, it is a portable workbench video. You could also click that on screen now. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Have a great day, and goodbye.